Roblox released a weird update to avatars that is completely broken. Apparently, Roblox might be getting banned in a certain state in America. Roblox released a new item and people aren't really happy. It's so much more stuff in today's video that I want to talk about, okay? But first, I'm going to ask you to subscribe because whenever you subscribe, my day gets 100 billion times better. Yeah, I'm upping the number now because it's true. Whenever you subscribe, I see it and I get really, really happy. So please subscribe. Thank you. And I'm also sick and recording a video, so I think you should subscribe because of that. You know, even though I'm sick, I'm still making a news video. So yeah, thank you. Anyways, let's Let's get to the news because there's actually so much stuff I want to talk about with the first story being something that I think is inevitable and we all knew it was going to happen eventually and it's the hunt ending guys so as you can see on my screen it says the hunt is ending in one day which I think is later today I think in like 12 hours maybe so it's not a day left it is like 12 hours left I believe maybe I'm wrong it could be ending tomorrow maybe I'm stupid but either way it doesn't matter because the hunt is ending very 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 soon and it sucks because as you can see here I completed six percent of the hunt I feel so stupid but granted i wasn't home for like half of the hunt so like i literally couldn't play it so it's not really completely my fault but dude i feel like a failed robloxian dude like i i got six percent six percent that's embarrassing okay and after this video i'm gonna try and get a couple more percentages in there because i feel so lame dude i didn't get like any of the hunt done dude i feel so dumb but either way it, it it's whatever because apparently the hunt part two should be coming out soon allegedly apparently there's been a bunch of leaks about the hunt second edition coming out now none of them are like confirmed from what i have seen but yeah even though the first edition of the hunt is ending it seems like there will be a second edition uh coming somewhat soon and i know for a fact for the second edition i'm getting 100 percent dude I, I i am so embarrassed seeing this six percent on my screen dude but in more hunt news we have a brand new item that is available in the hunt lobby because if you don't know uh i think every single day roblox has been releasing a new item for the hunt and you know there's been a lot of drama around that because you know the items in the hunt are kind of expensive and by kind of i mean very and that trend is not really ending because if you go into the <laughs> why do i walk like this if you go into the uh, roblox hunt game you can see there's a brand new item that is limited and it's seventeen thousand robux roblox why do you do this now if we're gonna base uh you know this item off of the previous limited items that roblox has sold in the hunt uh, I, I can already tell that this item is not gonna be worth anything so if you're planning on buying it probably don't because looking at the commando right now it's pretty clear that people don't care about these limiteds because usually when these limiteds uh go limited they're being sold for cheaper than the price here so if you do actually want these wings probably just wait for it to go limited because people are gonna be selling it for cheaper than the price uh, listed here usually but yeah that's the new item and obviously people aren't happy with it because it's so expensive <laughs> which i guess makes sense dude i feel so stupid i only got this necklace i feel so lame i didn't even get the staff bro but yeah that's the new item in the hunt lobby it's pretty cool it's it's not the worst but uh again it probably won't be worth much uh, after it goes limited anyways so it's not really worth purchasing at full price to be honest but without further ado now we can move on to the more important stuff in this video such as this this tweet that i saw uh, which is just absolutely insane but basically, Gummy Bar or Gummy Bear tweeted out even more gummazing news. The Gumtastic team at, at Roblox have launched the Gummy Bear Party Beta. Now, if you don't know what this is, and the if you don't know why I'm even mentioning this, uh, this is the Gummy Bear guy from the Gummy Bear song. I, I feel like everybody has to have seen this at one point in their life. I mean, looking at it, it has 3.3 billion views with a B. Billion. There's like 8 billion people on Earth. So, I mean, that's a sizable chunk of the earth that has viewed this video. But yeah, this uh, caricature, this little green gummy bear is coming to Roblox. Uh, and it's just interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think the game is probably going to be good. Let's check it out. And I mean, looking at it, it has five players right now. It's not doing the best, but I mean, you know, maybe it'll pick up later later in life. I don't know. Yeah, as you can see, you can go to the gummy bear concert in Roblox. <laughs> yeah, this is really weird. But honestly, I mean, it's not surprising. I mean, every single company is making a roblox game at this point and uh yeah this little gummy bear guy has one and it's just interesting <laughs> they also have hashtag big news in their tweet so you guys know this is huge and you know i had to put it in my video yeah i don't know this is just hilarious i don't know this is so funny to me and all the comments are just talking about how it's fire this is the best thing ever yeah people are just kind of like trolling <laughs> and i think it's funny but now we can move on to some more news that is actually important and it's fortnite copying roblox so a little while ago i talked about how roblox or fortnite was going to be 
releasing square icons on their Fortnite like creative section. I think I talked about this like two, three weeks ago at this point. But as you can see here by this tweet, uh, the update has finally went through and Roblox, or not Roblox, Fortnite now has square icons on their creative menu, which is literally the same as Roblox. As you can see from this Fortnite news tweet, square discovery tiles are now live with a picture of what they look like. And yeah, man, it looks exactly like Roblox. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. It even has most favorited and like most engaging like categories, which if you go to the Roblox discovery page, it literally has the exact same categories here. Maybe not the most favorited, but there is most engaging here. So yeah, I think it's just crazy that Fortnite is trying to copy Roblox. Like Fortnite was so successful before they did all this creative things. So I don't even know why they're like putting all their money into this. Is it even worth it for Fortnite? Do people even play Fortnite creative modes that are like not PvP? You know what I mean? Because like looking at this screenshot, the main games that are popular are like Red vs. Blue and The Pit. It's just like typical Fortnite gameplay, but on like a different map. It's so weird. I don't know why Roblox, or not Roblox, I don't know why Fortnite is putting so much money into trying to make their game into Roblox, but either way, a lot of people are calling it out, and a lot of people are saying that it looks exactly like Roblox. Like, if you look at the comments, you can see this person saying, the new Roblox update hits hard. Roblox is one step ahead of you. Fortnite is basically Roblox now, with a <laughs> comparison between the Fortnite creative logo and the Roblox studio logo, which, bro, it's literally the exact same. So yeah, I think it's just cringe that Roblox, not Roblox, uh, it's so cringe that Fortnite is copying Roblox. I'm even getting them mixed up, and uh, that's it. That's it, really. But now we move on to something that's a bit more interesting okay and it's this weird avatar glitch that's been going on with some people as of like a day ago where basically when they go to try and change their avatar on roblox they get this pop-up right here so here's one tweet that someone mentioned me in where it says avatar editor to change your look you will need to use the avatar editor on the app now this is weird already but the reason it's such a big issue is because most people getting this error are people on stuff like chromebooks which from what i know can't access the avatar editor in the app like they can only access it on the website so people are basically stuck unable to change their avatars i've also heard that it happens a lot on mobile as well so mobile players are for some reason can't change their avatar for some reason it's so weird and i wouldn't be surprised if roblox starts forcing people to open the roblox app on their computers and stuff to actually edit their avatar now if i go to my roblox avatar editor it's completely fine it looks completely normal but for some reason a lot of people when they go to this page they have to open up the roblox app to edit their avatar and a lot of people can't which is stupid now apparently this has been happening forever but i've only started to see tweets about it recently so that's why i mentioned it in this video also as i was editing this video shark blocks made this video about it so yeah it seems like it could be a new thing but i've also seen a lot of people say that it's very old and this has been happening forever so i don't know tell me in the comments but now we can move on to another story that i think is so interesting and it's kind of old at this point. It was four days ago, but as you can see from this tweet from Dexerto, it says Florida will ban anyone under 14 from owning a social media account by January 2025, deleting all existing accounts. This bill was signed today by Governor DeSantis. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this, mentioning this in my video is because apparently the way they worded this whole thing basically means that it could perhaps affect Roblox. So let me explain. So Creecraft found like a big text thing in this whole like bill that basically says a social media platform is an online forum that tracks account holders activity by letting them create user profiles then upload content or view the content for activities of other users and interact with or track them now the reason that's so important is because that's what they're defining as a social media like account or platform which if you didn't know anything about roblox you can literally do all of those things on roblox you make an account roblox tracks account holders you can upload content and you can also view content of other people so in that case it does seem like roblox could maybe be getting banned in florida if florida deems the you know roblox to be a social media platform also there's this other block of text that creecraft found where it basically says that this whole bill does not include stuff like interactive gaming or virtual gaming or an online service that allows the creation and uploading of content for the purpose of interactive gaming which is literally roblox so that basically means that roblox has the possibility of not getting affected by this uh, until you realize that i don't think that matters because roblox is not just a gaming platform for the longest time roblox has been trying to be a mix of a bunch of stuff so i mean at the end of the day i think there's a very 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 small chance that this could affect roblox and get it banned in florida which by the way florida is ginormous it has like 22 million people living there and that would literally leave like uh, millions of people unable to play roblox if they're under the age of 14 i think the majority audience of roblox is under 14 so you know that's just kind of interesting to see and yeah i, I guess we'll see if this happens in 2025 we'll see if roblox uh, gets banned in florida 